Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchez Rodej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present weekly contest 301. This time I will be solving the question smallest number in finite set and in case you are interested in more problems of the weekly contest, all the solutions are mentioned in the description below so do check them out. So let's walk through the question. Here you need to implement smallest infinite set class. The first one is a constructor of the class. The other one are two methods pop smallest which removes and returns the smallest integer contained in that finite set and the next method is void add block add back wherein you pass a number to it it adds this number back into the finite set if it is not part of the finite set so from the question itself uh, it tells that sets are to be implemented so which data structure are you going to use you will be using set for it and the second takeaway from the question itself is you need to identify the smallest element that is contained in that finite set. So which data structure is appropriate for it? Probably priority queues could help us there and we can create a min priority queue. That means whenever you are pull pulling out elements from it, the smallest one will be returned. So with these two takeaways, I don't have much to discuss, but rather we can jump quickly onto the coding section and it will give you a great idea on how to solve this question and it will help you understand the algorithm fully. So here I have created two data structures. The one is a priority queue, which is the min priority queue and other one is the set. So going ahead, uh, I have initialized uh, the priority queue to new priority queue. And when you don't define the comparator in the priority queue, it means that it is acting as a min heap. Uh, why I have passed thousand over here? Because in the question, it is specified that the numbers lie in the range of one to thousand. Let's proceed ahead. Similarly, I have defined the set size of my set to be at max 1000. Now we start the iteration and we add all the elements starting from 1 up till 1000 into the priority queue and as well as the set. Uh, with this, we have completed the definition of our smallest infinite set. And now let's walk through the rest of the methods. The first one is pop smallest. So whenever we need to remove the smallest element of the priority, uh, smallest element of that infinite set, what do we do? We pull out element from the priority queue. Whenever we'll pull out, the smallest one will be returned and integer x represents it. We remove that element from the set because removing that element will remove the identity from the priority queue as well as the set. So now that smallest element is gone. And whenever we are adding an element into the priority queue and set, we should always check whether that element is contained in that set or not if it is not contained then only we need to add this up and let's try this so this is again really simple let's try this i'll be walking you through the next example as well and accept it now if i ask you guys can we get away with set implementation do we actually need it because priority queue internally provides a helper method which is contains which basically identifies whether the, that particular element on which you are applying this contains method is part of the priority queue or not. So let's try if that also works over here or not. So here I'm just replacing a set dot contains to pq dot contains and let me just try and submit this up. Accept it again. So it can be solved using a single data structure but the time complexity would worsen over here. Therefore, we have used set in order to improve the time complexity because pq.contains takes the time complexity of order of n, where n represents the number of elements that are passed out part of the priority queue, wherein when we operate over set.contains, that can be easily identified in time complexity of order of 1. That is the reason we have treated uh, or kept set over here. Now, if I ask you guys, is there any other way of solving this question? The answer is yes. So what is the combination of a priority queue and a set? That combination is a tree set, which, which has the priority, the, which has the properties of both priority queue and set. So this algorithm can easily be replaced by a tree set, which I have written over here. So let's walk through that algorithm as well. So tree set internally maintains the elements in sorted order. And it is, since it's a set, it holds all the properties of the set. So here I've created this set, initialized it to a new tree set, added all the elements starting from one up till thousand. And when the call comes to delete the smallest element, we simply delete, uh, we simply invoke poll first method. It returns the smallest element. So this is a helper, uh, this is a construct of Java only. I'm not sure what are different constructs in Python and other languages. Uh, the last method is void add back. You can simply add back 
that element uh, in uh, that that is being passed over here into your tree set and set will internally be responsible for checking whether it contains or not you don't need to explicitly ch check because it's a set so let's submit this up again again accepted so the time complexity of this constructor method is order of one the uh, pop smallest method to complexity would be would come out to be order of log n and add back method would be again be equal to log n where n signifies number of elements that are part of our set with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question